Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. So if you didn't think Gymshark kept you busy with the camo and the ombre, well now you know there's another launch coming. <laughs> None other than the Flex. It's been a hot minute since their last Flex launch. I think it was like the summer of last year if I'm not mistaken. Regardless, it's super overdue. They came out with really gorgeous spring colors. I'm wearing one right now. Oh, a huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. So no waiting around for like a month here. These pieces are actually launching this Thursday, May 13th at 2 p.m. EST. I got a date for you, yay. So let's just go ahead and hop into it. I wanna showcase a lot of like, obviously the new colors that are coming out. I already did a flex full review, so I'll definitely have that one linked up here. Check that out in case you're super unfamiliar with this collection. It's pretty dope. It's unique. It's definitely unique for Gymshark. And also last video, you guys really liked that mix and match towards the end. So I'm gonna do that with these pieces too, in case you have some existing things, certain pieces that might go with this. Let's have fun with that and play around, shall we? I also like doing this in case you gals are on a budget, you know, and you can only afford one piece, one color, something like that, and then maybe you can mix and match within your own range that you have. So definitely hit that subscribe button. It helps me out more than you know. So let's just get into it, because together we got this. Oh. <laughs> I gotta stretch it out. You guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is the first time I'm seeing sun in a long time, so I specifically wanted to film today, get all that vitamin D in, because it's gonna be a good time. So in this collection, just a little FYI background, in case you're unfamiliar with the Flex collection, you got an assortment here. You actually have like two different types of sports bras and three different types of leggings. <laughs> so for leggings, you have a variety. You got high rise leggings, you got mid rise and low rise. So for my honeys who really, some of you don't like the high waisted, it's all good. Flex is your collection then. Everything is in a size small that you see today. My true size, measurements below, everything here will be linked as well once it's available. So we got this beautiful yellow high rise flex legging. Looks like a sunflower, I don't know why. So I'm really happy to see that they're continuing on with the yellows for springtime. This is actually the first yellow legging that I've tried from Gymshark that is squat proof on me. So this is not one of those neon yellows, like the real saturated yellows that Gymshark has been coming out with. This is more of a muted tone, nice faded color if you will. So if you're somebody who doesn't really like the brights, that crazy saturation, this is totally more low key of a yellow. Don't get it twisted, you can totally match their yellow sports bras with this, have a little more saturation on top. But for me, because if you look closely, the text here, the little baby Gymshark logo on the front and the big bold text on the back is more of like a medium, almost darker gray. I knew right off the bat that the gray Vital Seamless would just flow so nicely with this, it matches perfectly. I mean, do you see how that blends though? Just saying, and you have the moral breakup in both. So Gymshark has that moral breakup in the flex that looks really beautiful. The color block, that really nice color block contour is different within different colors. So this particular yellow legging has a very, very faded, subtle color block contour. So if you like that subtleness, girl, then you will like this. So this collection's made of polyamide, polyester, and elastane. So the fit, the material, and the type of fit is similar to say the animal and camo. This ain't no high impact collection, so don't get it twisted. So I'm gonna be real with you, I don't really sweat a lot at the gym. I don't know, I don't think I have really like successful sweat glands. But I used to do Sean T, high intensity, that insanity that he used to do. I used to do that and still not really sweat. It's so freaking weird. But anyways, so I cannot tell you like truthfully if this shows sweat or not, but I will say that it does have wicking properties. It does have the material. So you should be okay. And if you're somebody who sweats profusely, even if it does show up, it should be able to wick relatively quickly. But I feel like the darker shading, the color block contour kind of distracts from that. Am I right? That's just what yeah, that's what I think. I just want to give you guys a heads up for this launch. There's a lot of random pieces, okay? You're not going to have every single thing have a matching piece with it. So this is why I want to help out and give you guys some mix and match ideas, just in case. So we got another high-waisted legging with the strappy sports bra. This one is a full set. 
It's actually like a cranberry kind of red in my opinion. I think the color name was like pink claret. So whereas the yellow had gray text, this one just has a darker berry color. <laughs> They're so spontaneous in this collection. You just never know what you're gonna get. I personally love the high-waisted leggings the best, okay? I just feel very secure when I have a high waist. I love a nice ribbed band, that's my favorite. And they just make my curves look a little pronounced. If you guys look closely, there is a raised seam contour on the peach, so have no fear, all right? You still got a material to tuck in between the cracks. For me personally, I think this color is absolutely beautiful, but it's something I would wear more or less in the fall time. That's just me, but hey, everyone's different. A lot of people like the darker colors, even in the spring and summer, it still has a really pretty tone to it, so you could rock it in both. But for me, this is definitely gonna be broken out more or less fall time. So what I love about the strappy sports bra, I actually like this a little better than the, the racer bag, only because it, it comes a little bit higher. I think the strappiness with the higher neck is really flattering. It gives like a delicate, dainty kind of look. That's just me. So it is adjustable, all that good stuff, removable bra pads, only a moderate sport, nothing crazy. I actually paired this with, perfect match, mind you, the dark, ombre burgundy red. That is a fire match. They flow so well together. You even have that marly breakup in the ombre just leading down to the marl in the leggings. So this is just a complete match for me. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. They came back with the obsidian. So I know like this came out in the fall time and everyone went cray, but now they're back and I'm actually ready for it to be out in springtime. It's one of those rich greens that I feel like it can go, right? <laughs> With the high rise obsidian green legging, they got the nice, big, bold Gymshark text in a nice, darker obsidian green. Mind you, the text on the back is not printed or anything, so it will not peel. It's a part of the material, so it's like sewn in, but you can feel it, it's a little bit raised. This legging's freaking gorgeous, <laughs> straight up. The obsidian is where it's at. I got a matching sports bra. Not strappy though but it still flows nicely. So even if there's no matching sports bra for the high rise, the strappy, this could still go. Nice banded breakup, nice and thick, yes. So this is the racer back that I was talking about before. So yeah, the racer backs are not adjustable at all. They're a very simple, straightforward racer back with a little baby keyhole. Still got some contouring though, okay? All right, gotta match the bottoms. They have mid-rise shorts. The biggest difference between the high rise and the mid and low rise is obviously that big ass band. You have a really big, thick band, <laughs> elastic. I think it breaks the setup really nice. And I don't know, comment down below which one you prefer. Which design do you like? I prefer wearing high rise, but I really do love a nice elastic band, especially when it just has the text written out like Gymshark in your face. This goes without saying, but you can pretty much mix and match any and all obsidian green pieces that you may have. The Breeze Lightweight, for example, ooh. Oh yeah. So if you're somebody who's like, wait a minute, the Flex has just too much marl for my taste, <laughs> totally link it up with the Breeze Lightweight bra, or if you have the Obsidian Green Training Ruched bra maybe, then you'll have a really nice balance a little bit. And you still have the white text to match the white band. How about that? Okay, so Gymshark mixed it up and got a little spicy with two different colors. We got the mid-rise shorts here in gray and yellow band. Look at that. So sometimes they like to do this where they have a really neutral color, like the gray, so you can mix and match, do whatever you gotta do with it, but then they'll give you that pop on the band. And boy, do I like that because it really just, it just really adds like a ton of contrast. And for those who really like to have two different colors to kind of just get a little funky in life, then uh, yeah, they got you on that too. I'm telling you this freaking collection, like dang. These shorts do not ride up on me. That's I love that. They really don't dig in either. Even at this length, it's not a biker and it's not short shorts. It's a really nice, beautiful length short. My personal favorite type of length, only about a four inch inseam, maybe five. So it really is like my ideal short length. Like I said, the compression isn't high. So it's not like the ombre shorts say, where you can kind of feel a little bit of that dig in. This doesn't have any dig in for me. So Flex has it going on for me. I actually matched it up with 
the training v-neck the back thong <laughs> sexy so technically they're not like exactly the same shape but when you're wearing it nobody can tell so you're good just link these two babies up and um you got it going on are we about to talk about this freaking mint green yet yes we are about damn time ash right so uh yeah they linked you up they linked you up because they knew that you would want this mint green. To me, this is my favorite color out of all of them, but it's also something that I've already got dirty because it's that light of a color. I have the sports bra that I'm wearing. I got a little bit dirty. That's why I wore this one right over top so you don't see it and judge me. So they got the long sleeves, the sexy strappy sports bra in this color, the high rise biker shorts, biker shorts. And we also have a low rise legging in this color. This truly is the perfect spring color set right here. The low rise legging has the white band. Ah, it's so fresh. So because it's so light, it's actually not very squat proof on me. It's really light. This particular legging, the low rise that I tried on, did give me the dreaded CT. This legging in particular would be something I would wear more or less going out just casually, not necessarily going to a super like public gym, daylight bending over kind of thing. This is something I would wear more fashion-y outdoors than straight up deadlifting and squatting. You feel me? I did get like a little bit of a camel toe in the biker shorts, but not as bad as the leggings. So I would definitely see myself wearing the biker shorts a little more. Say with like a baggier shirt, you could just dress up, dress down. This is how I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it with like a nice loose baggy t-shirt or hoodie or something like that. And then just walk out, go for a walk. So this spring green color as a whole doesn't have the intense color block contouring like the rest of the collection. So for example, like look at the difference. Like this one has intense shading where this one has virtually no shading. You still have the textured contour going on, but there's no shade difference. It's just one color. So keep that in mind. This one almost like from far away, you wouldn't know it's the Flex collection. So to match the spring green, you could totally go with a classic white because you have the white within the band here, the text, Everything is like a white and green tone, so you could totally do a staple white piece, but if you want to really look like you're about to dip into the summertime, how about the orange Adapt Marl? Can you talk to me about that? Because I'm pretty sure this looks like a delicious sherbet ice cream, my favorite, one of my favorites. I like all of them though. You look tasty and sweet and delicious like a summertime treat. So um, these blend really well. You got a super vibrant orange and a light pastel-y green. It's all good in this outfit. Okay, last thing I got going on here. This powdered lavender. Ooh. Mm. I think this is one of the most beautiful flex colors I think I've ever seen in my entire life, truly. Other than this spring mint green, this just did something in my brain where I was like, holy crap, if you're not so freaking adorable. So you obviously have that powdered lavendery, almost like faded purple color, but the band, the band is baby freaking pink with very light white text. So it's got that pastel vibe again. Oh my God. If Gymshark came out with a completely just 100% pastel line, I'd die. I would die. They are about 90 to 95% squat proof on me. So it didn't make it where it was completely opaque. You saw a little something, something, but I would wear these to a gym. That's just me, I would. And it really depended on the light, like straight sunlight, yeah, 90, 95%. Not direct sunlight, it looked almost 100% squat proof on me. The contouring on these is so like subtle. You just got a little more of that saturated purple color. Overall, like there's so many tones of pinkish purples where it just kinda, I just feel like a flower in this. I feel very pretty, very pretty. I did an Instagram photo wearing this long sleeve with the pink and y'all really enjoyed it. Y'all loved it. Y'all loved that mix and match. And so you could totally get this exact set and match it just like this two beautiful colors combined. Or you can go ahead and grab yourself the back thong again. <laughs> the training v-neck turquoise. 
I'll just give you a second to look at that. All right. This is a perfect color combo cotton candy. Like if you're gonna hit that beach, you wanna hit that boardwalk, you wanna go to a carnival, you wanna feel like the carnival, then this is that combo for you. I love it and this is how I gotta end the video on this note right here. Just forget about it. Alrighty guys, so those were the new flex colors, just in time for spring. If I didn't touch base on something that you're curious about, then definitely drop a comment. My overall thoughts are heck yes, thank goodness for these colors. I'm so excited. Whenever there's pastels involved, I'm gonna I'm just die. Everything in this collection was super true to size for me. I just wanna make note on that. Again, guys, these pieces release this Thursday, May 13th at 2 p.m. EST. So definitely stay tuned in stories and things like that because I'll be talking about everything there as well. I cannot wait to see you guys rocking these new pieces. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.